Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O, and I'm already kicking the stand, a tripod for the camera this morning. <laughs> All right. This is your friend Dan O. We're going to be taking a look at Legos today. Yes, I am not a big Lego person because I just don't have the mindset for it. I don't know why. Uh, I do buy them when I get a chance. Uh, these are a couple of things. This is a Walmart blowout. One reason why I don't buy them is so they're darn tootin' expensive. Lego has really made a name for themselves. And uh, boy, they are uh, expensive. There is a lot of technology that goes into making a Lego. And uh, this here is a bag of uh, knockoffs that I bought that I just, uh, you know, was cheap. So I bought it less than a dollar, dollar or whatever. But anyway... If I find any Legos, whether it's uh, something like this in the package or loose, uh, I usually pick them up because someday, just someday, maybe I can make one of these. Yeah, or something like it. This is, uh, oh, and I'm missing a part already. I don't know where that came or where that went. But anyway... I bought this one uh, built like this at uh, in Madison, an annual railroad show, and you know I can't uh, I can't think of the name of it, but it, it happens in January, I believe. And uh, there was uh, there's a couple there that uh, sets up a Lego train set. Everything is Lego, the trains, the city, the buildings, the cars, the Land Rovers, everything. I think I paid like $25 for this. It was uh, quite a few years ago. I took my kids over there. We had a great time. A uh, little, just, just a great uh, thing. If you uh, just Google Madison uh, annual train show i'm sure something would come up because it's a big deal and uh, everybody comes around but uh, anyway the why these are so expensive is uh that came in a kit you know usually a box kit and those box kits usually start out 25 dollars plus and then you got to put the thing together so that's a lot there as well but very nice. Uh, I do have this bigger one here. I don't know. We'll grab the uh, measuring tool here. See if I can uh, do this without whacking myself today. All right. What do we What do we got here? This is uh, like five inches long. Yeah. Very very nice. Uh, obviously uh, Lego quality. Uh, two and a half inches wide or so. Uh, very kind, of, very kind of cool. I like to say that. Very kind of cool. Yeah. Um, there you go. So uh, it, it's not you know branded Land Rover, but it sure does look like them. I know that you can get um, branded uh, vehicles like Ferrari and stuff like that through Lego, and those are hundreds of dollars. But uh, just uh, I. There is one uh, that just came out not too long ago. What was that? Lego Tech? They did a Land Rover, and that thing is like three, four hundred dollars. Awesome! And you can check out videos on YouTube about it. I believe it's L Lego Tech is the name. And yeah, do I want one? You betcha. Will I probably get one? I don't know. We'll see. All right, I got another one, little bugger. Look at this little bugger. I don't, I don't remember where I got this guy from. I know, I, I don't think I built him. I really don't think I built him. But uh, yeah, I don't really know what these things are on the side here. But uh, yeah, it's just a cute little bugger. I can, I can stand for a couple more of these, and uh, that's why I buy this stuff. You know, uh, out of all of this, maybe I can make another one of these. And get a dinosaur on him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you didn't know, I'm a big Jurassic Park, Jurassic World fan too. 
Someday I'll do a video on my collection of uh, Jurassic World stuff. Someday. But yeah, there we go. We're looking at Legos for today. Cute little buggers. I really like them. I wish I could uh, do more of them, but uh, if you are at all familiar with Legos, and you got to get the ones that say Lego right on the knobs. Yeah. Don't get the ones without the knobs on them because then they're a little bit inferior. You can. They probably interwork a little bit, but not much. This is this is the not mega blocks or something, which, you know, hey, there's always room for more. But, uh, yeah, if you really want good quality and sharp fitting, uh, get the Legos because they spend a lot of money making sure these things fit together. And... Um, there's a lot of parts and pieces, a lot of different parts and pieces. Look at the gem on the back of that. I mean, they got transparent red parts that you can use and like tow bar things there. I just, oh, then I dropped it. Way to go. Uh, little rubber tires on them. They're, they're, they're actually little rubber tires. So there you go. That's what we're looking at today. Legos. Do you do Legos? Do you collect them at all? Are you... Uh, you know, do you do series like uh, Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Star Wars? Star Wars is one of the biggest uh, Lego um, uh, cooperatives, uh, as you would say. But uh, do you get into Legos at all? Have you tried them? Yes. Uh, my, my young man, my son, never really got into Legos too much. Uh, but uh, that's all right. Nothing wrong with that. All right, there we go. Just a quick look at what I have in the collection for Lego Land Rovers. Do you have one or do you not have one? Huh. Have you made one? I think they make a bigger one too. A uh, longer wheelbase one here on this one. Uh, like I say, uh, usually if they go on sale, they get snapped up, but usually they don't go on sale. Um, but there you go. That, that is quite a monstrous tire Lego group. Look at that. And it tells you what it is. It's a 30, 30.4 by 14. It's a 14er. Yeah. Pretty good size truck there. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Do you collect Land Rovers in the Lego series? Do you build your own? What do you do? What do you have? Otherwise, if you like these videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up so we can just keep on making them and uh, subscribe. That's always important. We're getting up there in subscriptions or subscribers. Yes, not subscriptions. Subscribers. And uh, yeah, just growing the channel. More people in the hobby are gathering together and having fun trading, buying and selling here on Roverland. Go over to Facebook. We got a lot of things there that uh, pictures and we share share pictures and things like that on Roverland on Facebook and on Instagram. We do some things on Instagram too, so posting in the videos and sharing there. So make sure you check that out. All those are in the description below, so you just click and head on over there. All righty, that's it we're for today. We're going to call it a video. Thanks for joining me on a Lego Spotlight Land Rover video. And remember, Lego nuts, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.